Okay, so now we're in the part two of the tutorial. If you haven't seen the first part, uh, please go uh, watch it. The first part is uh, this. And now the first thing that we'll do, we're going to go along with this uh, checklist here. So to explain to you what's going to happen is that we have the real estate unit that is connected to the broker's unit. And what we want to achieve is that when we assign the real estate unit to an external broker or vice versa, it's going to create a relationship between these two. So these two modules need to be connected. In this case, it's a many-to-many -many relationship. And the relationship is represented by a table here. So that table connects, it's actually this table. So this table connects the two. So it has the UN inventory ID, uh, the real estate ID and the broker ID, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new module and that new module is going to be the broker's commissions. So the two of them are connected, but we want, for example, this broker to have a different commission when he's assigned to this module. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll create the actual uh, table. And just to give you a quick uh, summary of why this, this approach is very good, I find, is because this is going to be tied directly to the relationship. So it's going to act basically as another relationship table. So it's going to be like an additional real uh, additional relationship table. And to give you an overview, so this is the what the broker's commission table will look like. It will have the real estate ID and the broker ID. These will be basically fields. We're not going to build a relationship between these modules here. The only relationship is going to exist between the real estate unit and the brokers. But this is going to act as a relationship table. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll go to the system, we'll create a new module, and we'll create uh, the, the new extension and then the new module. There's tutorials that explain how to do that. And for that new module, what we're going to do is we're going to create fields. So actual fields that people can type uh, stuff in. Right? It's going to be the external broker. This is the, the module. And we created the fields for the real estate unit ID and the broker ID. These are going to be text fields. So when you create your uh, module, don't forget to add the, the text fields that represent the ID of the first table and the ID of the second table. So the two tables that you are connecting. So that's the first part. So we, we've created the intermedi intermediary uh, module. The relationship exists between our main modules, right? And then we have the, uh, the new module that was created. We've added the fields also. And I'm going to make this Google Doc available for you. So what we're doing is, uh, and why this, this approach is good, is because when the relationship is established between record real estate and record external broker, this record gets created. So we're adding an after relationship add hook. So after the relationship is added, this record gets created. But when the relationship is dis destroyed, we'll add another logic hook, this record also gets deleted. So this is tied directly to the relationship. That's why we can regard this as basically like a, a relationship table. So this is good because let's say for an example, for example, you have a real estate ID that's assigned to this external broker. If this external broker gets deleted, the system is automatically going to destroy the relationship between the two and automatically it's going to destroy the external broker record. Same thing, if this gets deleted, the relationship gets destroyed and in turn the logic hook is going to fire up and it's going to delete this, uh, this record also. So it's, 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 it's basically a very safe approach to, to dealing with this specific problem that we have. So this is an overview. It basically explains to you how the after relationship add hook works. This is the example file that you'll put in your folder. Like this is for the real estate uh, module. <clears throat> We're specifying where the file is located, the name of the class and the name of the method. So the, the file is going to be here, and this is the content of the file, which is going to contain the class and the method. So what I'm doing here is essentially I'm just verifying. So when the relationship is added, I'm making sure that the relationship, uh, that this is the, um, we're, we're relating 
the real estate unit to the broker. So I'm specifying what is the name of the um, of the module which is get, getting related. So once I confirm that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new external broker commission record. So basically what I'm doing is I'm creating a new record here, which is going to contain the ID for this and for this. So <clears throat> I'm putting the example file of how it's going to get uh, created. So the method, the actual function that is going to create the record for us. And the way that it works is that it accepts the arguments as one of the parameters. It's going to fire up, uh, it's going to look what is the real estate ID, it's contained in the ID uh, parameter. I mean, uh, ID is the key uh, inside this array here that gets passed. So this is, this is the real estate unit ID, external broker ID. And what happens is that we're passing the arguments which get, get passed by the system automatically. So when we're firing up our after relationship ad hook, you can do more research on the after relationship ad hook. It's going to contain the bean, the event, and the arguments. So the arguments is actually telling you that, hey, we're relating the real estate unit with uh, an external broker. So this is going to contain the ID of the real estate and of the broker. And here we're just firing up our, our, our simple um, CRUD method that creates the new bean, which is the, the, the commission bean. And the commission bean, bean, we're filling up the fields of that commission bean. So we're telling it the system that the real estate unit ID is going to be uh, this, and the external broker ID is going to be this. So that's essentially what is going to fill up these two fields here. So as you can see, it's very uh, straightforward. This is just my built-in method here. You can uh, function, you can ignore it. So the, the next thing that we'll do is we'll create the after relationship delete logic hook. So as mentioned before, when we destroy the relationship between this module and this module, it's also going to destroy the record that contains the ID of this unit and of this unit. So the record that goes along with that relationship here. So once again, just the overview of the, the way that uh, this logic hook is registered, then the file for the logic hook, and I even put the function info here that you can use for, for reference that's going to destroy the, that's going to destroy that record. And that's it, you're basically done if you don't need this to be modifiable by the end user. If you're just creating it and then the system does some work on the background, you are done, you don't need to do anything else. Um, so this is the end of part two. And if you want this to be modifiable by the end user, we're going to discover how that can be done in part three of the tutorial. Thank you.